we're going to go to Norwich, which I'm ever so interested to do because I've never been before. I've heard some really fantastic things. I've done a little bit of research into it, but obviously, as I haven't been before, if you know of any really good places to go when I come next time, please let me know because I'm hopefully going to do some fantastic things. Like we're going to go to the market, we're going to go to the Royal Arcade and have a look around and take in some of the gorgeous architecture. But obviously you might know a bit more than I do about Norwich. So yeah, any ideas of where to go next time we come, please let me know in the comments. And we're going to set off now and hopefully find somewhere very, very delicious to have some dinner. Oh, I'm so glad we've found the Royal Arcade, which is why I was really hoping to come. And we're gonna go inside it. There's lots of little independent shops and things like that here. And also some really nice places to eat and drink, I think. But look what's next to it. I love Lucy and Yak. I might have to have a peep in here afterwards. Right, let's go into the Royal Arcade. This is the place and inside here they have lots of different eateries. We'll have to take a look. I've just found a little menu thing and it's got all of the different places on here that you can order from. And look at all of these. £2.50 a late night slice. Milk looks absolutely gorgeous. They've got one of those sushi conveyor things with lots of cake going round on. Everything looks so good. Let's have a quick look inside. Oh, look at this. Look at all the events that are on as well. We've got art calligraphy workshop and paint and sip at Folks, terrarium. It looks fantastic. It's incredible here. Oh my goodness, that conveyor of all of those cakes. I just wanted to stand at the end with my mouth open. It looked delicious. And what a wonderful view as well out of the windows. It's so beautiful, the architecture here. It's Victorian. They did well. <laughs> We're now just gonna head to the market, which is, I'll turn the camera around, just there, ahead of us, which is very convenient, isn't it? And that's been around for over 900 years. So let's go and take a look around. It is incredibly large. <laughs> just went to Indian Feast and picked up a delicious meal here. It's called Samosa Chat, I think. <laughs> and we're just sat next to the market 
and we're just going to tuck in and see if it's as delicious as it smells. Doesn't it look wonderful? Oh, Ooh, it smells fantastic. Mmm. Oh, that is really delicious. Try a samosa now. Oh, wow. Mmm. It's gorgeous. I'm back at Bun Box and I've gone for the mushroom bun. It sounds delicious. Steamed bun, roasted mushrooms, garlic mayo, radish, crispy onions. Oh, perfect. Let's see how it tastes. So they have a lot of different options. Wow. So we've got the bao bun, mushrooms, some little things in there. It smells gorgeous again. Well, now I'm very, very full. I've sampled a few delicious bits from the market, but we're gonna take a little walk now. We're gonna try and head towards a street, which I think will be really nice, and also go in a few shops. I know that Alex quite fancies going in Salt Rock, and I want to go in Lucy and Yak, and a few other bird and blend tea as well. Even though I had to bought some tea from the market. <laughs> right, let's make a move. And then we might find a little bit of pudding along the way. This is a good little shopping street, this one. It's just outside of the Royal Arcade and we've got Bird and Blend, Salt Rock, Flying Tiger, which I love. All different shops. And the lady there was so wonderful. She let me have little samples to see which was my favourite and talked me through all different types and even the different types of brewing styles like matcha, cold brew, things like that. It was absolutely incredible and they had every flavour that you could imagine. So fantastic. So definitely recommend going in there. Um, now we're going to aim for Elm Hill, which is supposed to be a really beautiful, picturesque little hill full of all different historic buildings. All of the different shops and everything are just so wonderful. Oh, I've accidentally stumbled upon the cathedral and as it's free and meant to be very, very beautiful, let's take a look inside.
There's a really lovely cafe called The Refectory and we've decided to come for a little drink. I've gone for this strawberry cold pressed juice and Alex has gone for a latte and he's also gone for the biggest cheese straw that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Look how big that cheese straw is. I'll just pop a fork next to it for comparison. That is just huge, isn't it? And then I've gone for, also very, very big, a slice of carrot cake and it looks exceptional. I love carrot cake. <laughs> oh wow, I've just had a bite of the cheese straw and it is fantastic. That cheese is just perfect. had a really wonderful time inside the cathedral and the cafe and then looking around the cathedral and the cloisters and everything this is the herb garden which you can have a look in but unfortunately it's just a bit too late we've missed it but we can see it from here and it looks really lovely we're now just gonna head back to the car and see if we see anything on the way now that was absolutely wonderful we've been in so many lovely shops and I know there were more that we just didn't get a chance to go into I'm a little bit spent up mainly from buying tea <laughs> I've got so many different teas there's even more in this bag here but they were all so wonderful oh so we're going to head back to the accommodation now and now I know I definitely want to come back to Norwich and like I said earlier if you do have any suggestions of anywhere to go please let me know in the comments because we have had a lovely day and we definitely want to come back. We want to come back to all of Norfolk to be honest and to the places that we haven't visited that were on our potential list and it's just been absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm.